Hello viewers, welcome to the channel and this is Faith Muringe Update. Have you ever heard of Sylvia Dadoni? Well, she's a law student from the Catholic University of East Africa. Was last year signed by American eSports organization UYU as a content creator. Dadoni revealed she started her gaming profession in 2017 when she was 18 years old. This was on the first edition of East African Gaming Convention and they had a Mortal Kombat tournament which she, co she competed and came in fourth. Two years later in 2019, Gadoni earned another accolade by winning the Safaricom Blaze its eSports Tours Pagan Tournament. She was then signed by a major eSports company after her deal with America's XIT Wounds, a partnership through which her gaming activities are sponsored. On the honor, and being the only woman in a globally recognized combat game in the Tekken 2 x 4 circuit, I quote, I look forward to more dubs and more glories. Getting to my level at Tekken and attaining my objective as a player has taken hard work. End of quote, she noted. She participated in Tekken 2 x 4 and came in 19th position. So Gadoni, also known as Queen Arrow, is a Kenyan esports guru who made history as being the first esports athlete to be named on the global Forbes list. So Forbes 30 under 30 is a set of list of people aged 29 and under issued annually by Forbes magazine and some of its regional edition. It recognizes businesses and industry figures from an array of industries. Forbes 30 under 30 Africa is the 8th edition of the list featuring Africans under 30 years who are innovative entrepreneurs, tech gurus, sports stars and influential creatives leading a pandemic hit Africa and consciously shifting the narrative. This year, four Kenyans made it to the 30 under 30 class of 2022 list, including our Kenyan e-gamer Sylvia Gadoni, also known as Queen Arrow. She is a first-generation female professional in esports and has been celebrated as one of the top athletes putting Kenya on the map in the field. The esports expert Queen Arrow took to Twitter to celebrate the achievement, which she described as one of the biggest affirmation of her esports career so far. She is a pro gamer signed with the US-based professional esports group XIT Wounds. In an interview with Kenya Buzz, she narrated how she got into gaming through her elder brother's influence. She also said that being a female in the male-dominated industry, she feels she has to work extra hard to prove that she is just as good as if not better than most of the guys. She said esports isn't taken very seriously as it's seen as more of a hobby and not something that can potentially earn you a living. She also noted that in developed countries, some people earn a living from being professional esports players and wishes more techs, companies and corporations could come through for the esports community in Kenya because there is so much potential. I've got to admit, consoles are pretty expensive. If the state could intervene and reduce taxes on consoles, this could be a way of making the country a major esports hub and might even contribute to easing unemployment, she said. So being a law student, she says that gaming helps her formulate arguments and historical knowledge and critical thinking when she's writing her school papers. So do you think gaming should be taken seriously in Kenya? Just leave a comment and let's have a conversation. So thank you much, so much for watching today's updates and see you in the next one.